KOB Eyewitness News 4 at 5. Okay, is an eye exam for your kids on your to-do list right now? I know it's getting pretty long. Diana Castillo spoke to, uh, to optometrists about why those appointments should be an even higher priority with this generation of our children. 10-year-old Austin is seeing the world a lot different now. I could just see during the day. After seven years of relying on glasses to see clearly, he's officially ditched the specs, at least for now. For about two weeks, he's been wearing contact lenses to treat his myopia. Second day, he woke up, he's like, Mom, I could read without having my glasses on. Mom, I can see your face. And uh, to tell your kid that he can see my face and it's just, it's, it's a beautiful moment. Optometrist Tiffany Garcia Martinez at Eyes of New Mexico Family Optometry says she sees this condition all too often, especially following the pandemic. So in the studies it hasn't shown this screen time leads to this myopia, but definitely it has a big, it plays a big role. So like during the pandemic, we saw a lot more kids become myopic than even before, but we've seen kids increasingly become myopic in the last 30 years. Her practice pairs with Treehouse Eyes to create treatment plans to manage myopia among children. If they're myopic or nearsighted, they're going to have more trouble seeing far away. So they're going to kind of be um, squinting. The biggest issue is that when you're myopic, it actually means that the eye is elongating from front to back. While many children and adults deal with myopia, if not cared for, it can lead to more sight-threatening conditions like glaucoma or retinal detachments. Diana Castillo, KOB4.